All right, so I am going to be doing an unboxing today. I just got a new vise, and I thought I'd do kind of like a review slash uh, unboxing. I actually did already open this. Um, I just wanted to make sure that my uh, info was uh, crossed out on all this stuff so you guys didn't see it. <laughs> Don't feel like giving away my location, but drum roll. It is, I guess not much of a drum roll, but uh, Wolf Industries uh, Atlas Vice. It's a full rotary. And uh, let's see, what does it say here? Delrin sleeve bearings. I don't know what that means. Sounds good though. 01 tool steel jaws. Uh, that's great. I know 01 tool steel is awesome for knives. Uh, stainless steel construction. Uh, 7 knot to 32 hook range. I mean, that's, uh, that's pretty unbeatable. Uh, that's where I need to be. 7 knot to 32. I don't think I'll ever set, uh, tie a 7 knot. I tie them down to 32 sometimes, but rarely. Teflon bushings. Well, anyway, now we're getting into some stuff that doesn't really matter. Um, maybe it does, but not to me. As long as the vice works. So, we get a... Uh, a little booklet here, as you can see. Warranty information, uh, just some info on how to put the vise together. Uh, it's a decent little box. At least it holds it together well. Well, that is one heavy. Uh, Heavy pedestal, so that's not going to rock on me. That's good. Oh, and by the way, I bought this at Fly Fishing Discounters on eBay. It wasn't bad. Um, before we get started, I mean, this is, this is I think, like a $150 vise. Uh, you know, I have this right now. It's a Dynaking. It's a great vise, but it is 200 bucks, and it's not full rot rotary. So, you know, Dynaking makes a great product, though. They're I mean, they're, everything about it is, is wonderful, um, really well made, everything stainless steel, um, you know, a good pedestal, it's a, it's a great vice. I just need an upgrade. Um, we'll see how much of an upgrade this is, I just really wanted a full rotary. So for the price, it's kind of hard to beat. So this is a very heavy, very solid uh, pedestal there. Um, Another thing about this, not all of them do, but this comes with a clamp too, so that's kind of nice. I mean, for 150 bucks, I actually I think I got this for one, 130. I think they had a sale going on or something like that. So you can always find those, and even used, you can find them even cheaper. So, um, but it seems like a decent clamp. I don't use clamps, so I don't really need that. Um, but here we go. Looks like there's one more part in there. So from the picture, it looks like this screws in. Yep. And one thing I'm noticing here is this is, this is all metal, but these little knobs are plastic. That's one thing I don't like. But I mean, for a full rotary, I think uh, you know Dynasty King is great. So let's compare with them. Um, their full rotary, I think their cheapest one is in like $300 range. Could be wrong on that, but I think so. So. To be half the money, um, you know, it's, I guess it's okay that they have some plastic, uh, plastic knobs. But that's one thing I would say that's probably where they could save the money on um, to make it that ex inexpensive. So it looks like that screws in. That's in there tight. Um, so it's okay. I mean, it would have been nice to have these metal, but I'm sure that really, I mean, it's not, it's not that big a deal. So this will be the tension for the rotating. Yeah, I can feel that. Okay, so that's starting to bring tension. All right, so that, you know what? So this locks it and stops it from moving. So it's not made to operate, so I was wrong on that. There we go, that's a lot smoother. A little fall. Um, maybe if I tighten it even more. See if we can make it stay, you know. Uh, it seems to want to move. So it, it's tight and then kind of gets a little looser there and tight and looser. That might that might change as I go, so we'll see. Um, but again, I mean, for the money, um, 
those little kind of things are not that big a deal. So this is how we adjust, I guess, the, the tension of, uh, and that's nice, it stops it right there, so you can't go too far. That's really nice. Um, that's how we adjust the, the length of it. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some hooks in. Let's see how, uh, well, let's see, I think this operates, yep, this operates the, the jaws, all right. Might get a little getting used to. And there are, you know what, there's little notches. That's good for these larger, uh, that's one thing I did like about my, uh, my Dynaking is that with larger hooks, they had uh, little notches to keep it from moving. Well, I'm sure I will figure this out at one point. Oh, there we go. It's nice. Uh, doesn't seem to be moving at all. Let's see if I can uh, actually get it level. See how uh, oh, I got really tight. What did I do different here? Oh yeah. Okay. That's kind of close. Let's. Uh, there we go. You can see that's uh, that stays right right there. That's good. It doesn't really move that much. A little bit. Um, I think you can. center but well, it'll take a little while to get used to but there we go it comes with this little uh, material clip too that's nice you can put it wherever you need it that's nice uh, I know with my Dyna King it's uh, it's stuck way back here and sometimes the material isn't long enough when I'm tying and it won't you know clip on so that's nice, I can pull this closer and clip on the material. I do like that. Um, I mean, overall, this, this is a pretty nice vise for 150 bucks. I mean, I can't imagine, uh, I mean, there's there's definitely a couple things that, that um, you know, I'm not stoked on, which is like the plastic and whatnot, but it does seem that this is uh, very well constructed. Um, it seems to hold a hook. Well, that's a larger hook. This is a one knot. so let's go ahead and... Uh, See if I can find some smaller hooks. I've got here a size 26. Not the smallest I use, but um, it's just kind of what I grabbed. And well, we're gonna have to adjust that, obviously. That's probably too much. There we go. That's in tight. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of room for move or for uh, around it. See. Oh, there you go. Now it's holding. So I just didn't tighten enough. I thought I did. Um, but there you go. And that's in there real good. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I mean, so far away. Um, but that, that holds it good. It's a, it's a good little... Uh, yeah. And I think actually that brings a lot of room around the vise. Uh, I mean, around the hook. I, I've got a lot of room to work with. So that, that doesn't necessarily... Uh, limit my use and I don't think it will even on size 32 so that's good um, yeah I think overall is a great little vice um, I mean it takes a lot I don't think I could actually hit, move that while I'm tying you know I mean you have to really push hard so it would have to be you know I don't think I could with thread um, you know or would want to uh, so that's good um, but overall, this is a great vice, and uh, I mean, for the money, 150 bucks, I'm quite happy with it. So, um, compared to my Dyna King, I mean, the construction on the Dyna King, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest here, I think is a little better. Um, I do like it a little better. Um, it's uh, I like the, the the jaws a little better, I think, and the way that that's done, um, it's it's just a little little tighter personally. Um, you know, but smooth and everything. Uh, 
but uh, you know it's not full rotary, and also this is more expensive. This is a two hundred dollar vice versus um, originally one hundred and fifty dollar dollar vice, um, and uh, I mean I'm not trying to do a comparison here. I mean Dyna King is so well well known and such a great vice. I mean it's just it's hard to beat, but they are a little pricey um, for good reason. Um, but to get a full rotary for less money. I think I'm quite happy with this. So, um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Now, go catch some fish.